Hello, hello. The topic of today's lessons is to lesson is to convert units of measures for length, capacity, and length, capacity, and weight. And we are going to consider all units, including metric that is prevalent in most of the world and United States United States units. So I am going to jump straight to page. 54. And let's first go over, let's first go over this important standards. One meter is the same as 100 centimeters. Now, if you recall, the word centi, same as century, cent, uh, centennial, really means one hundred parts 100 okay so that's why one meter is 100 centimeters centimeter is about the size of your fingernail and one meter is a stretch between two of your arms one kilometer is i'm right here i'm right here one kilometer is 1000 meters because kilo the prefix kilo means 1,000. So, just like we work with kilometers, we will be working with kilograms. One kilogram is 1,000 grams. And one more important unit of measures for capacity, one liter is 1,000 milliliters. And the prefix milli, milli, means one thousandths, one out of thousand equal parts. So let's begin our let's begin our exercises. Let's look at exercise one and exercise two. And we are gonna do tons of conversions in their examples at the bottom of the page 54 for exercise three. So let's go. Express 0 0.75 meters in centimeters. Now the word express really means to convert to translate. My friends, remember, centi is 100 parts. Therefore, what we do is we multiply meters times 100 and we get 75 centimeters, 75 centimeters. Now, express 3.75 meters in centimeters. Well, we see this is a mixed fraction. We have a whole part and a fractional piece. And of course, three uh, meters will be 300 centimeters and 0.75 we just translated above so it's 375 we add the two parts together now let's take a look at the weight uh, part c express 2.8 kilograms in grams remember kilo means a thousand so we multiply thousand times so we would get 2800 grams now, I would like to jump to number three and again address only the metric units. So we kind of stay within the, same, within the same topic and then we will switch to customer units that we use in the United States. So let's identify metric measurements in part three. We're going to do, oopsie, wrong pencil. We're going to solve A, B, C, D, E, and F. And those are, that's going to be, that's going to conclude our practice of metric units and their conversions. So let's take a look. 0 0.6 meters into centimeters. I hope you remember centi means 100. So it's going to be 60 centimeters. 0 0.49 liters into milliliters. Milli means 1,000. 1,000, so it's 490 milliliters. 0 0.615 kilometers. I hope you're getting a hang of it. Kilo means a thousand. It's the same as 615 meters. 0 0.3 kilograms, again, times 1,000. You don't even need to write this rainbows. I hope you're getting a hang of it. It's 300 grams. And the final two examples, 1.85 kilograms. So we have one kilo and a little part of the second kilo. Again, kilo means 1,000. So we have 1,850 grams and 4.2 liters. 
into milliliters. Remember, milli means thousand as well. So we multiply times 1,000 and it becomes 4,200 milliliters. Now, my friends, I am going to switch my pencil color because I hope, uh, I hope now we will be able to solve another, another set of examples that have to do with customary units, okay? So let's solve number two, A and B, and then G, H, I and J because these all examples have to do with customary units we use in the United States. So uh, let's start with the top. Let me clean this up. Express. Again, the word express means translate, convert, okay? Figure it out. 0 0.5 feet. My friends, I hope you recognize 0 0.5 is one half a foot. And if one foot, where are the units of measurements? Let's refer to a table. I hope you remember the number 12 is so important in the United States. And number 16, we have 12 inches to a foot and we have 16 ounces to a pound. These are inches. So let's convert. So one foot is 12 inches. What about half a foot? Well, it's half of 12, which is six. Next, express 6.25 pounds into ounces. Again, we're dealing with a combination of a whole number of pounds. We have six pounds and we have, let's look at it as a simple fraction, one quarter of a pound. So let's first convert the whole pounds. So we can do mental math. Six times 16, and I hope you know that it is 96 ounces, and quarter of a pound, quarter of 16, is actually eight. Um, no, so sorry, not eight, haha. <laughs> it is only four ounces, and we have a beautiful round number. We add these two parts together, and we have 100 ounces. Alternatively, you can compute this using stacked multiplication, 6.25 times 16. I think this method is longer. 5 times 6 is 0, 30. We remove 2 times 6 is 12. We have 15. 6 times 6 is 36. We have 37 plus 6, 2, 5. And together we have 0, 0, 0. And 100, don't forget, uh, another 0 and 10. Don't forget the decimal place. So in my opinion, uh, doing stacked multiplication is much harder, too much math. Let's step, let's make simpler problems, split the pounds into holes and fractions. Let's practice a little bit more. Example G, we have 2.75 quarts into cups. I hope you remember the story of Kingdom of Gallon at this point. Remember, in the Kingdom of Gallon, there were four queens. Q stands for quartz, and each queen had a prince and a princess. Prince and a princess. Prince and a princess. Prince and a princess. And each prince and princess had two cats. Two cats. Two cats. Two cats. Two cats. <laughs> cat, cat. Another cat, cat. Cat, cat. Cat, cat. This is a very crowded drawing. But if in doubt, you can always remember one gallon is four quarts, one quart has two pints, which means prince and princess. And here we have uh, four queens, right? And one quart, one quart also has four cups. Remember the, the cats. Anyway, so 2.7 quarts into cups. My friends, one quart has, look at the drawing, has four four cups okay that's important one quart has four cups it is right here in our table now two quarts two quarts let's split the number 2.75 i'm going to teach you how to do it let's split it into two and 0.75 which is the same as three quarters right so two quarts is going to be eight cups right eight cups. Oh, I don't like how it gets crowded. And three quarters is actually three cups. Three cups. Eight plus three. Eight plus three equals 11 cups. Okay? Equals 11 cups. I hope you're getting a hang of it. Three and a half pounds into ounces. Remember that number 16 is very important. Three pounds is 16 times three is 48 ounces and a half a pound 
is another eight ounces. So we have 56 ounces. Finally, inches. I hope you remember number 12, 12 inches to a foot. Three, let's split it. We have three, let me clean this up. This is becoming so messy right down here. So let me clean up, make some room for our uh, feet. So we have three feet and a quarter of a foot more, right? Let's split that number into holes and fractions. Three feet is 36 inches and a quarter of a foot is one quarter of 12 is three inches. Altogether, we have 39 inches. And finally, half a gallon. Well, look at our kingdom of gallons. One gallon is four quarts and half a gallon is just two quarts. I hope you find this lesson useful. And I'm 